Alright guys, just to give you a heads up, I really really don't have a lot of time for editing videos and would rather spend it on painting, but I feel somehow obliged to give you all of my progress. So we have this OG Chaos Warrior, a really 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 cool miniature. Lots of big details, I recommend it as a practice model for blending, because this is what we will be doing here. See you in a moment! As always, I started with an undiluted straight to the airbrush coat of one for all acrylic black. It is ready straight from the bottle to use, very glossy, reliable and covering nicely. It was then followed up with a thin diluted coat of Vallejo black to dull down the gloss effect and this allows me to paint over any mistakes with a black paint of my choosing without making the undercoat look different. I am always very annoyed with painting bases as they are the last thing I normally would do and I just want to get the whole thing done. So my normal course of action is, well, f*** it. I will just dry brush some random shit on the base, put a grass tuft and tell everyone that you can find any color in nature. But then it leads to a nice model on a crappy base and therefore, dating a few models back, I start with the base. Remember that when you paint your base, you have to make some conscious decisions. What I mean by that is that it will make no sense and probably spoil the work you put into your model if you don't make the colors work. For example, it is really hard to make an ultramarine stand out and make any kind of sense on a vivid green base. Believe me. Use a color palette to search for complementary colors for your miniatures as well as for the bases. I very often do snowy bases or give them grey tones, as most if not all shades of white and black don't register in the color palette and therefore fit with any other colors. As you can see the base, and to be more precise the rocks on the base, got a few tones of grey. Dry brushed stippled and layered depending on what effect I wanted to achieve. To pour a little bit of life into it, I grabbed two shades, Citadel shades, but of course you can use any brand, and layered Reichland into crevices of the rocks and the green one next to the areas which will be painted as blue NMM in a moment. To not make my life very complicated, I took a cold blue AK paint layered it on the metal parts and afterwards I have chosen a brightest highlight paint and started adding it to the blue until I got almost the highlight shade. It was all edge highlighted with the same pale grey I used to make the blue brighter. I wanted this model to have a clean copper armor, therefore the dark brown as a base. I have never done copper and thought that it could be a nice practice of some new NMM variant and blending. Judge yourself how it turned out. <laughs> Fuck. Before I went into the armor itself, there were a few smaller details that needed to be done. This is a poor salmon warrior of the fish god, and therefore he will have no gold on him. The other thing is that gold NMM, as I thought at that point, could somehow mix with the copper not stand out. I took four grey paints and started putting them on the model and the details. Then it was just the process of blending it by painting mid-tones very gently on the connection areas, until they were almost non-visible. For the metallic net I used the same paint and the same technique. It was a bit easier because there is not much need to blend it. The pants as well as the main body of the axe got a few darker tones of grey. I don't want them to stand out, they are supposed not to attract your eye. The armor and the blade of the axe should make your eye stop and therefore they will be having a much brighter tone. Nevertheless, this is not a place to slack off and they need a solid blend as everything else. Don't ask me why I use those colors that you see here. They make some kind of sense on paper. 
I think I lack one or two browns more, and I have too many lighter ones. Let me leave you with some music and the painting process, and we will see each other at the end of the video.
And this is the finished model. The perfect Salmon Warrior. I know it sounds stupid, but I'm gonna stick to that. The execution here is okay, the color choice unfortunately not. But he was a lot of fun. As mentioned at the beginning, I really recommend this model as a test miniature. Lots of spots to practice blending, almost no areas that are hidden. If you find one, take it and paint the holy crap out of it. So what do you guys think? I would really appreciate a comment. And as always, thanks a lot for joining me today. You are all super spectacular and I really mean that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give a like, give a share, leave a comment. Have a look at my Patreon and Instagram. Links to both of them will be visible in the video description. Check out the Discord channel, it is free and I am there. So take care guys and see you in the next one. Oh and don't forget, the Emperor protects.